So now that we've switched the power on to the back of the scanner, we should get a little notification down here in the bottom right hand corner. Now you can receive one of two notifications. The first one is to safely remove the hardware and eject media. If you don't get that notification, then you should receive a notification stating that the hardware has successfully been installed. And this is a prompt to go ahead and proceed to opening up the 3 shape scan server application. So that should also be in the form of an icon on your desktop. And we'll just move over here to the left. Usually it'll be in the bottom left hand corner, but it should be entitled 3 shape scan server. So if you just double click that icon, you should get a window in the center of your screen. The 3 shape scan server will start up. And of course you can hear the motors inside of the scanner moving. So once the scanner is initialized, you're going to get a window in the center of your screen that says the scanner has not, uh, has not been calibrated, and that calibration will now start. So we're going to just simply click on OK, and the scanner is going to get the scanning table and everything inside in the position that we need it to be for us to insert the calibration object. So we simply are going to follow the instructions that are laid out for us on the screen, as well as the text here. And we're going to start by getting our calibration object out of the calibration kit that was included with the scanner. So inside of our calibration kit, we're going to get out our calibration item. It should just be this one object. And I'm going to go ahead and set this down on the table. Close this up and set the box aside. And what we'll notice here on the calibration item is that we have a little notification here says to remove the cover before calibration. So there's a small little plastic cover that protects this calibration kit. You want to make sure you replace this when you're done, but to remove it, just slide straight down. And then you can just simply place this item aside for now. So according to the instructions, what we need to do next is go ahead and open up the scanner and uh, place this calibration object inside. So as we open the door here, I do want to take a second here to show you some things about how this calibration item and the scanning plates are going to set on the scanner. So if we'll flip this calibration item upside down here, we can see that on the bottom of the calibration item, there are three grooves in the shape of a triangle. There's one here, here, and here. And this actually corresponds with three spots inside of the uh, scanner itself that we can also see. There's one here in the back, and then two in the front. So this is magnetically held in place as well, but as you no uh, if you'll notice, as we place this calibration object inside the scanner, it only goes in one way, and the calibration item should be facing out towards you. Uh, as you place this in, you'll feel the magnetic pull, and you should feel the calibration item snap securely in place. So as we've gotten that calibration item in place, we're going to go ahead and close the door, and the calibration will now start. So we're going to go ahead and close the door. And here on our screen, going back to the instructions, there's a small little icon down here that says calibrate. So we'll just want to click that with our mouse to continue on. So the scanner is going to run through its predefined motions, and this could take up to a maximum of three minutes. So after your calibration is complete, you're going to get a notification window here on the screen. And this window is basically telling you that the calibration has been completed successfully. And it also states to go ahead and remove the calibration object and put its protective cover back on. So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and open up the door to the scanner. And to remove the calibration item, we're just going to grasp it on both sides and pull it straight up. And it should come straight off of that scanning plate. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is grab our plastic uh, cover and we're going to go ahead and just place that over the bottom of the calibration item and just slide it straight up to protect the calibration surface. Now we can go ahead and place this back into our calibration kit and set this aside for future use. Generally you will have to calibrate your scanner once a week Depending on your use, you may have to do it more than once a week. So now that you've finished calibrating your 3 shape scanner, it's now ready for general use. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for tuning in today, and if you have any further questions, 
please be sure to contact us here at Whitmix, where we have two Three Shape certified trainers on staff. Again, thank you for watching. My name is Mike Webb. Have a great day.